Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about class in Dart. Class is used to define a blueprint from which we can create object. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo of class. Okay, here you can see in object oriented programming, class is a blueprint for creating object. Okay, first of all, you need to create a class. Then after you can create object from that class. A class defines the properties and methods that an object will have. Okay. For example, a class dog might have properties like breed, color, and methods like bark, run, etc. Okay. I am a human. I have properties like skin color, name, and height, etc. And I have behavior like I can speak, that is one behavior. I can run, I can dance, that is another behavior, okay? How we can de define a class in that, okay? First of all, you need to write a class keyword, then you need to write a class name, you can write any name, but remember, you need to write capital at the beginning, uh, this is industry standard, and then you can write properties or field, and also write methods or function, properties, or, uh, properties and fields are same, and method and function are same okay and here you can see the class keyword used to define the class okay this class uh, this class keyword is used to define the class this means uh, this is the class okay class name is the name of the class and must start with capital letter this is the name of the class body of the class consists of properties and functions okay here you can see uh, you can write properties and functions in class body. This curly bracket means class body. And uh, properties are used to store data. For example, I am a human. And uh, what are my data? My data is my height, my name, my gender, my skin color, etc. Okay, that is properties. Properties are used to store the data. It is also known as fields or attribute. Okay, properties are also known as field or attribute. You need to remember this because you can, uh, you may heard this word multiple times. Okay, and functions are used to perform operations. Just like I am a human, I can speak, that is function. And it is also known as method. Function is also known as method. Okay. Let's declare one class in that, okay? Here you can see one class that is animal and that animal has three properties. One is name, number of legs, another one is lifespan, okay? This class also has a method called display which prints all the values of the three properties, okay? Let me open my Visual Studio code and let's see a demo, okay? Okay, here I will say, class work class work dot dot and let me write the main function void main okay this is our main method and let's go you can also uh, create class in another file just like here you can say uh, person i will create a one class called person you can also create class uh, animal as soon as uh, here Okay, I will create a class person. I will just write, uh, rename this one and file name is person.dat. Okay, person.dat. You can also create class outside this method. Okay, just create class. First of all, you need to write class and you need to write a class name. I will say person. And first of all, you need to define the properties and you need to also define the methods. Okay. If you don't define anything, then this will be also okay. That is also fine. Let's define properties. For person, I will say integer ID, person ID. And I will say string name, person name, integer is, person is, and person is string address. Okay. I will say like this. And you need to write a question mark. Question mark is for null, null safety. We'll also discuss about null safety later. Okay. 
okay this is uh, properties these all are id name is and address are properties and let's create a method okay i'll say void display and i will say print my id is dollar id okay and i will print print not i will say not my id i will say just id id is dollar id and name is dollar name and age is dollar age dollar is and address is dollar address and then okay this this is fine okay here is the example of class this is the example of class if i run this program if i save this and if i run this program i'll say dark class work dot file sorry class work dot dark nothing happens here you can see nothing because our main method is empty okay we need to create object of this class to create object just you need to write class name person and you need to write object name i will say p1 is equal to new or you can also avoid new here just write person here and p1 dot name you can write anything i will say bisoras powder and p1 dot id i will say one p1 dot is i'll say 12 p1 dot address i will say usa okay and i'll say p1 dot display okay okay and if i run this program it will display all of the stuff here you can see id is 1 age is 12 name is bisuras powder and address is usa in this way you can create a class this class is a blueprint from which you can create object and you can create many uh, person you can also say p2 and uh, this is a very very essential part of object oriented programming for here you learn how to create a class how to create a properties and how to create a method you can create multiple properties and you can also create multiple methods okay and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video thank you